so we are given two complex functions w1 which is given in terms of u and v and w2 which is the complex conjugate of w1 so it's it's coming with a minus sign in front of i and v so in the common region we have to show that both if both are analytic then we have to show that u and v are constant terms so u and v are constant they are they are not the parameters of x and y so we'll, we'll go with the cauchy riemann conditions so for w1 uh, the cauchy riemann conditions are du by dx is equal to dv by dy and for w2 remember one thing here over different is let, let's denote it by v dash as minus of v so du by dx is dv dash by dy and that is nothing but minus dv by dy now these are two equations one and two so we will add both equations and we come to a point that du by dx sorry 2 into du by dx is equal to 0 which implies du by dx is equal to 0 and that gives us u is a function of y after this moment now this is 3 now only we have only use the first Cauchy Riemann conditions. Now we apply the second Cauchy Riemann condition that is du by dy is minus of dv by dx that is our equation 4 and this is still for w1 and for w2 we have du by dy and dv dash minus of dv dash by dx so we put v dash as minus v so we get plus dv by dx that is our equation 5 now we add 4 and 5 we get 2 du by dy equals to 0 implies du by dy equals to 0 that implies u is some different function of x now this is equation number six now from three and six from three and six we can see that in three u is only function of y and in equation six we see that u is only function of x and that is possible only when u is a constant term it, it does not depend on any of like x and y so we, we reduce this as u of x y does not actually depend on x or y anyway so it's just a constant c and similarly we can show that so instead of going more depth into more depth we can just say that du by dx is equal to du by dy is equal to zero so this implies that u is some constant similarly we can say that for dv by dx is equal to d v by dy equals to 0 so if we integrate both of them and we reach to the same conclusion that it's neither function of x and y so once again it reduces to a point where we say that v is also a constant all right so this can be pretty handy to remember that if we are given some function of z which are in terms of u x y and i v of x y 
then if the complex conjugate of v if this is analytic in some region r and u is also analytic in the same region r then u and v are not functions of x and y but constants i hope this was quite clear and that's it for this question thank you